Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of Just Treadmill. I am playing Dark Souls 3 once more. We're back with the weapon playthroughs. Only this time, we don't have to deal with any shitty magic. This time we're gonna play through the entire game with hammers. Freaking hammer time, people. It's hammer time. Alright, I'm gonna just skip the story. By the way, if you're interested in the story, don't look at this playthrough, because I don't care about it. <laughs> so, off camera I made another character from... Xenoblade Chronicles 2, it's another female character. My apologies, but if I'm quite honest, I could not think of many characters that use the hammer. I have another idea of where I use great hammers. I am going to use another character from Xenoblade Chronicles 2, probably. So, yeah. Eventually, we will become a male, if you're wondering. Eventually, our character will be a male. Uh, let's see, though, because right now I can choose between either becoming a cleric... Huh, faith, I don't like that. Or becoming deprived. Deprived is... I'd say Deprived is probably the better choice, because I am at level 1, like so level 1, and I can also just like... Choose in which stat I'm gonna put my levels. And I also get the club as a starter weapon, which is a hammer weapon, so... I'll take it. Right, young wide branch, as per usual. Uh, now we should have... Let's see, so build... Wait, I think if I go over to... Load favorites, we have this character! Bam. So this should be the character. She should also have the correct build and all that jazz, right? Am I right? Yeah, that's all my <laughs> her head is. Hmm. Is her head too big? I don't know, man. It's always so weird having to figure this stuff out. So yeah, I'm gonna try to base her on Cassandra from Xenoblade Chronicles 2 once again. I think I finally figured out, like, I'm not gonna 100% try to go for quote-unquote cosplay souls. Because it doesn't work in this game. Or like in, I guess in Souls game in, in Souls games in general, like you, the appear like changing the character's appearance is very difficult. Or like it's at least difficult to make a character look good. And when it comes to armors, I most of the time don't have any like or don't have the uh, the freaking type of armor that I would need to get a certain look going. So I'm just gonna ignore that stuff. If you're wondering if you're new to this, so just notice that I should probably change the title a little bit. If you're new to this playthrough, um. Like I said before, I'm going to be playing through the entire game. You're only using one weapon type, which in this case is going to be the hammers. I'm also going to go and collect all of the hammers, beat all of the bosses, and that is all the requirements that I have during these playthroughs. Another thing I'm going to mention is... I don't have the beefiest of PCs, so... There's going to be two areas in the game where I'm going to lag. And at other points I might also lag a little bit. You're not going to notice too much of it. I noticed in my own videos, so you don't notice too much about it. Uh, about it. I like, sorry, you don't notice it not that much. Mainly because I don't play in six, like I'm sorry, I don't record in 60 FPS, so you won't even be able to see it. But yeah, just thought I'd mention it. I don't have the beefiest PC. The game also doesn't look as beautiful, but you know what? I think if you're here, it might as well be for the gameplay instead of the instead of the other stuff. Now I did change a couple of things that I I'm not sure if hmm. I'll have to I'll have to check some stuff out off off camera. I think. After this first episode, I'm probably gonna go and check out some some of my graphical settings because I have been fumbling around trying to make this game run better, but it failed quite horrendously. Let me actually take a look because I do have this on, right? Yeah, and then graphics are low. Yeah, for obvious reasons. How much time? Bonk. I actually don't like the freaking. Uh, I'm not too big of a fan of the of the club. The club feels very weird in this game. It's not bad though, but it just feels... Like, if you use a mace in this game, it feels a lot different from from the club. And I like the mace a lot more, because it... It doesn't constantly, like, attack vertically, it also attacks... Well, it, it just attacks horizontally instead of vertically. Which I like a lot more. Also, I haven't played this game in a long time, so... Excuse me for maybe some bad gameplay every now and then. Alright. I do still know how the game works, of course, or like most, like I don't, I know enemy attack patterns and all that jazz, but I'm just not too accustomed to the game anymore. Crystal lizards, or like these giant crystal lizards. Always pretty dang easy. I'm pretty dang happy that I did not go, like in the last playthrough where I, that I didn't start up the game with 
with only being able to use fists. Because that would have been insane. Fighting this guy but only using fists is insane. That's the kind of challenges that I don't like doing, by the way. Those are like a little bit... Actually, in my opinion, they're just boring. It takes so much time to kill just about anything. and eh. there is a, There's definitely a challenge in it, but I don't like it as much. It just gets boring. It also gets boring to watch. The same as with all of the... Like with a lot of the... Uh, what type of playthroughs are those? With a lot of the... Um, uh, a lot of those like no-hit playthroughs, or like no-hit runs of games. That also just gets really annoying because of the fact that, of course, you have to play it carefully and then wait a lot of times and then it just gets boring. There you go. Or at least that is my personal opinion. Alright. <laughs> welcome to welcome to Just Fred freaking commentary. Alright, so I'm gonna do this now, I'm gonna do that now. Alright. <laughs> yeah. I have been feeling like I... My commentary hasn't been that good lately, I feel like. Well, it could also just be me focusing too hard on it, as I tend to do. Doesn't matter too much. Also, I feel like I'm lagging a lot more than I normally do. So I'm gonna go and have to change... I'm just gonna go and change something after I've done this first part of the game. Or I could do it earlier if I want to. I'm not sure quite yet. Could also be that I'm focusing too hard on it. Oh, yes, nailed it. Getting myself a piece of titanite, which I'm eventually going to be very glad to use. I'm probably going to be using the normal... The normal mace is probably going to be my... One of my main weapons in this playthrough. I also want to try to use the the twin hammers a little bit more, because I haven't used them uh, that much. Aside from that, almost every single hammer is the same. Even though I'm going to need intelligence for the hazel pick. There's also the war pick, but I never liked the war pick, so they can just fight her off. <laughs> Alright. So yeah. Also, hammers are really good against shields. <laughs> so I, I don't have to wait, which I was yeah, of course I was using fist and then before that I was using piercing swords. Which meant that me and shields that wasn't always a good idea. Can I actually do a kick still? I can. Nice. With that I mean like can I still perform a proper kick? That's what I'm trying to say. What is the special thing of this? It's Warcry, right? Uh, Warcry, yeah. What does that do again? Temporarily boosts attack and enables a special consecutive strong attack. Right, that's how it works. Yes, indeed. Alright, my big boy. Let's go and remove that little pain in your... in your heart. <laughs> Stab through the heart and you're to blame. Please stop hitting me with your magic club! Well, it's not a magic club, but... It is a club! Welcome to the club! Ow. Yeah, I definitely feel the lag, which I shouldn't be feeling at this point of the game. Come on. Yes, Dark Souls 3 in a nutshell. It's just bosses transforming like mad. Also, in between the last playthrough and this one, I have been playing Sekiro. So, I'm very confused, like I always want to press the D-pad button up to heal. As you have to do that in that game, and there's just a lot of stuff, like, stamina is not does not exist in that game. So, I'm... <laughs> I'm gonna have to... I'm gonna have to get accustomed to this game again. Oh well. I think... you know what? I think I'm gonna pause the recording right now. And I will meet you guys here in a second where I will hopefully be able to improve the performance on my end, because <laughs> I don't like this. Perfect. Alright, so I'm back. This time I fixed a couple of things. This might also be one of the reasons why I had so many issues. That's what happens when you start fumbling around with NVIDIA, uh, the NVIDIA control panel, and especially when you don't really know what the hell you're doing. <laughs> Which is me! Because I have no idea what the hell I'm doing with that. With all that stuff. We're all made of star stuff. <laughs> Let me beat the star stuff out of you. Let me beat the ever living stardust out of you. Out of your face. Man, this feels really good right now. <laughs> oh my goodness. There is still light now. 
and it's usually... I think since day one that I've been playing this game, it has been lagging and firing strikes, so... That's not too big of a... That's not too surprising, I think. And I can also deal with it, because... There's not a lot of stuff that I have to do in Firelink Shrine to begin with, so... There is that one really annoying jump to do, but... Oh well. Damn it. <laughs> I was hoping that I could... That I could Sparta kick him off, because that's one of my favorite things to do in this... In this place. Right. But unfortunately enough, I suck at doing the kick. Hello, dog. Get over here. Let me beat you. Ah, fucking... Ah... Uh... Damn it, my no hit run has failed! It has failed a long time ago. I really don't care too much about it. Uh, I'm not gonna care too much about the master, also, because why in the hell would I? The master's just gonna kick my ass. And I don't really get anything from it, so. Hello, my dude! Nicely done! And now you're dead! Now you are dead! Deader than dead. Well, thank you for the ember. I, I keep on forgetting what's over here. Homer bone. <laughs> I was about to say I knew it. I was thinking about a homer bone, but I'm not sure. But I, like, I wasn't sure. There we go. Oh god. Right. Back in Firelink Shrine! Let's throw the sword in. Whilst being epic as fuck. Bonfire lit. Good. Alright, is there anything that I would like to buy? As is I want, no. Shut up. <laughs> Just shut up. I love saying it. So stupid, but I love saying it. Should I buy chain armor? The thing is, I do kind of need some form of armor, though. Or I could use some form of armor. <laughs> armor. Let's say it like that. Huh. Yeah, nah, fuck it, I'm not gonna do it. <laughs> fuck you and your armor. Alright, I should do my little secret cheesy trick. <laughs> you can become better at Dark Souls 1 uh, than Dark Souls 3. <laughs> With this one dumb trick. It is a pretty dumb trick, and it, it does help, so... If you can do it, I would definitely suggest doing it. It's either this or spending 20,000 souls on the key that would normally let you enter this tower. Or you! No, but you do have to perform it. And unfortunately enough for me, I always have lag on this particular spot. So yeah, that's probably one of my least favorite things ever. Ugh. I always want to do this jump, because... It just makes my life easier having one more extra... Available to me, unfortunately enough for me, I'm gonna lag like crazy. Why do I even lag over here? I wonder why. Actually, no, it is because I'm looking at the deeper part of Firing Shrine. There's one part of Firing Shrine, where, and every single time I look in that direction, I get lag. <clears throat> and I have no idea why, and I also have no way to fix it, so... Up until the day that I can fix this, I'm gonna be stuck doing this in a very annoying way. It's either that or I have to lower the freaking... Ugh. It's either this or I'm gonna lower the quality again. <laughs> Just to be able to make this jump. But it doesn't lag as much. There we go. Man. Would you... Like, can you even imagine how good I would be at this game if it wasn't lagging, like, constantly, always? Or, like, crazy, always? There we go. I do feel like... Also in Sekiro, I had a couple of moments. Sekiro wasn't too bad though, I didn't have too many moments. But there were a couple of moments where I had to deal with lag. Especially... <laughs> One thing that I definitely remember that I had to deal with, with lag was the final boss. Which was uh, pretty dang insane, especially if you do it at no game plus. That was insane. But I did manage to do it. Which is... nice. But, oh yeah. It seems that I will have to forever live with lag. Well, that is until I decide to either upgrade... Well, I cannot upgrade my laptop, too. Like, I cannot upgrade the graphics card in my laptop, but I can upgrade my desktop PC that is now recording. So I could also switch around the roles if I make my desktop PC much better. Alright. Let's see, so I need 18 strength. 
18 strength is the amount that I need. I also need 16 dexterity. So I need 18 strength, 16 dexterity. And that is all that I need, I think. I also need some, some amount of intelligence. Let me go and take a look. I need... 19 intelligence. What the fuck? But that is gonna be something that I'm gonna... I'm gonna put those stats in later on, I think. I'm not gonna care too much about it. I'm gonna get endurance there. There's pure strength and endurance is perfect for doing this hammer build in the early part of the game. This is probably gonna be the simplest of playthroughs, by the way, <laughs> if you're wondering. Just because of the fact that I only need to collect a handful of hammers and yeah, everything is just gonna go a lot faster, hopefully. But maybe less interesting because I'm only using hammers, but well, I can have an easy time every now and then. Let's go to the high wall of Lothric. I was, for some kind of reason, I wanna, I wanna press the fast forward button from when I was playing with emulators. <laughs> it's kind of weird, but well, it's a habit. It's cool. I feel alive. While we are waiting for the game to load the next area, which is taking a lot longer than I expected. I'm disappointed in you, game. Not really, though. Alright. So would somebody please be so kind as to give me their clothes? I would quite appreciate it if somebody would hand me their clothes. Would you look at that? A summon sign. Sky. Ah, oh, yes. Wait, what the hell? What are you wearing? She's wearing... My god, she has giant boobs. Um, <laughs> like big bazongas. Fuck, I miss. That's what I deserve. For disrespecting women. There we go. You're done. Alright, dog dude. Get over here. And then get bonked on the head. Okay, I don't have a parry shield right now, so it's gonna be me, you, and my rusty skills at Dark Souls. Got him. Got him! Strong attack, which is a jump attack. I totally forgot about that. Oh, thanks for the halberd that I definitely needed. Also, why is there so much lag? <laughs> why do I have to deal with so much lag? <laughs> Welcome to the Gulag. These guys are always kind of dangerous, I feel. Or at least I have some issues with these guys. But from all the enemies, uh, well, no. Lothric Knights are the worst, I think, from this entire first part of the game. But these ones are also quite nasty. Okay, let's see. Which one is it again? It's the guy that stopped us up back there. Back there! There we go. Bonk him with your magical stick. Oh, uh, like, why? Why, SpongeBob? Why? Every playthrough will be different, probably. It's either that or I'm just going nuts from... Well, I'm probably just focusing too much on the lag, which I tend to do. Which is not a good thing. <laughs> but, oh well. There's not much I can do about it. It is very... Well, it is... I have, I've been talking about this so much already. In every single playthrough, I've, I've, I've had moments where I was just constantly talking about this. But I do want to kind of like convey the feeling of having to deal with lag. I'm pretty sure I'm not the only one, but still. Um, one of the things that I definitely notice is the gameplay. Like the way that everything feels. It's just, it's just a lot worse. Makes it more difficult to play the game also. Because you have a tiny amount of input delay in a certain way. And also a game like Dark Souls or Sekiro where the combat is almost like a rhythm game that you're playing. Yeah, when that rhythm gets disturbed it's it's a bad time when that happens. But oh well, I'll get through it one way or another. And if necessary I can always go and change some more stuff in my freaking Nvidia fall trap shenanigans. Alright, buddy. Get over here. Then get bumped by a club. 
How long is it going to take me until I get the mace, actually? Hmm. I have the page opened up, but I do have to stop playing if I want to take a look at that. So I'll take a look at that when I'm... When I have reached the next bonfire. Right. Thanks for the gold pine resin. That is going to be very useful against the first boss in the game. Thank you. Hello, my dude. You're going to aggressively kill those freaking boxes. Okay. Uh, I can drop down here. And then go down here. Now we can keep on rolling, rolling, rolling on a free ride. Okay. Hello, my good sir. Aha. I think up here is where you can find the club normally if you didn't start out with the, the club. We'll have to deal with the dragon if I. Before you go up there, which I don't really feel like dealing with, so. There we go. I'm gonna stand over here. Do myself a little heal. A little sneaky heal. Ah, fuck, I ran straight into that one. Deserved! Right, I wanna kill the dude over here. This is annoying. There we go. I always, I suck so much at doing freaking kicks. It's unreal. For having played this game this much and still sucking at doing kicks is... It's a magical experience. No, that looks horrendous. Or at least like without any other armor it looks pretty bad. So dare who? I don't think I will. Wait, I'm still thinking about the Cinderstone. I was thinking that there was an enemy over here, but... Aside from this guy, there's nothing else. Unfortunately enough for me, I cannot parry this guy right now, so I'm gonna have to employ some different tactics. Since I don't have a shield that will allow me to parry. Keep on barking him! The freaking hammers are also very good at stunning your enemies, so... The hammer, I will definitely say, like, if you go through the game, axes or hammers are really good. Well, just about... Every single normal weapon is pretty damn good, I'd say, in this game. And with that I mean like normal swords. And normal clubs and all that jazz. They're all pretty damn good. Normal axes too. Haha, so yeah. Haha! <laughs> Ta-ta! I feel like it's lagging even more than before. Oh, I hate this so much. Especially because of the fact that I don't know anything about this. Like how you can... Well, I know the reason why. It's because my cap well, my capture card, no, my graphics card is not strong enough. It's like, it's it's it's, for, it's pretty damn close to the required, like the requirements, but it's just not close enough. Uh, figure could be nice. Yeah, sure. Let's go for Vigor. Vigor! Ashworn. Okay. Am I going to continue? I don't think I will. I don't think I will. So, I think we're gonna conclude this first episode. Of Just Fred. Or like, just this first episode of Dark Souls 3. Where... Dark Souls 3 where I was playing Just Fred. No. Welcome. Oh my god. I'm confusing everything again. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed this episode of Just Fred while I was playing Dark Souls 3 Weapon Playtures. And next episode. We're gonna continue, and hope that I can, one way or another, make it so that I, that I have less lag. <laughs> let me just go and turn it over to 1080p for a moment. Just, just, to, just to let you get a feel of, it doesn't change that much. It's so, so weird. It, okay, no, it does, it does, it definitely does. The game looks so good though, <laughs> but I cannot play on this setting. Oh, that's such an annoying feeling. That is such an annoying feeling. Let me go and see if I can find... Yeah, no. I will continue to do this, people. Until I go absolutely mad. Let's go and 
I just want you to see how, how it would look on the lowest setting. <laughs> this is the lowest setting, and if I play on this setting, I have no lag. This would be, like, if I was playing this game, just casually, this would probably be a setting where I, like on which I would play the game. This also works. Well, actually, no, I can already feel the lag. <laughs> oh, man. Let me just go and go through these settings. I want to see. I'm just, I'm always interested in this. I guess I'm just gonna have to turn back to 720p. Or like 720 Or like, yeah, that's 720p. Let me go and turn this off. Does it change? Anything? I don't think so. Let's go and turn it off to the max settings and look at this lag! <laughs> oh man, this feels not good. What are medium settings be like? Yeah, it's the same. Like, if I don't play on low settings, I get... I get some pretty bad lag. Ah, welcome to my life, people. Welcome to the life... of Fred. Where I always have to deal with lag. Oh well. I'll see you guys later. <laughs> Goodbye.